Hello friends, this question is from the test series 5 and from the subjects of analog, the topic name is operation amplifier and application. In the circuit, we have given one ideal op-amp and the input supply voltage is equal to the 1 minus exponential minus alpha t u t. And we, where alpha is 1 by C1 R1 and we need to find out the expression for output voltage. Okay, so you can see that in the circuit, in the input side, we have a parallel RC network. So I can solve this network as parallel, parallel RC network is basically really R1 parallel XC1 so I can solve this thing as R1 into in S domain 1 by SC1 upon R1 plus 1 by SC1 so it will be equal it will be going to be R1 upon 1 plus SC1 R1 Similarly, if you can redraw this network, so I can replace uh, this circuit R1 parallel C1 with a with an impedance Z, name this Z, which value uh, whose has a value of R1 upon 1 plus SC1 R1. So now if I can redraw this network, it will be minus plus, okay, inverting network, non-inverting invert network. In the inverting network, we have a impedance Z. In the, no, in the feedback path, we have a resistor which has a value of R2 and R2 terminal and non-inverting terminal is grounded and in the inverting terminal we have a voltage source Vi so you can see that so this expression is this circuit is basically equal to the this circuit is very similar to a uh, our standard inverting amplifier it is nothing but a standard inverting amplifier so in case of standard invert what is the output expression for in standard inverting am amplifier you know that the output of the standard inverting amplifier is R V naught minus R F by R1 times V I. Okay. In our case, in place of V naught, we have a R2. So in our case, V naught is basically equal to the R2, and R1 is basically replaced by a Z. So if I can replace R F with R2 and R1 with Z, so I can get my output. My output expression V naught will be equal to the minus R2 by Z times VI. This will be my output voltage. Now let's just put the expressions and solve it. So it will be minus R2 by R1 upon 1 plus S C1 R1 times VI which will be equal to which will be again further simplified as R2 times 1 plus S C1 R1 upon R1 times VI. This will be your V naught, right? So now, um, VI where VI is basically, VI is basically equal to the one minus e raised to power minus alpha t u t. Now put the value of VI here. So your output V naught will be equal to the one minus e raised to power minus alpha t u t times minus R two into one plus s C1 R1 times R1. Okay, so now let's do the multiplication. So multiply. Let's or we will going to multiply these two expressions. So after multiplication, we will get the R2 by R1 times e raised to power minus alpha t minus one plus d by dt. You know we can replace the s with the d by dt. We know that integration can be replaced by one by s and differentiation can be replaced by d by dt so s is being replaced by d by dt here we have the s okay that is same as so now that s is being replaced with the d by dt so our expression will be d by dt times c1 r2 c1 r2 into e raised to power minus alpha t minus 1 times u t so now let's we, we let's further simplify this expression so with further simplification it will be r2 by r1 times e raised to power minus alpha t minus 1 minus r2 by r1 plus c1 r2 times minus 1 by c1 r1 into e raised to power minus alpha t times u t so this 
cut down that common terms and we will have a final expression as R2 by R1 into ut. So our final expression will be equal to the V0 is basically equal to the minus R2 by R1 into ut. So my correct option will be option A. Okay, my option A will be my correct option. So in this question, my solution is option A. Thank you.